Hey there, viewers! Warning: 8 Things Your Nails Tell You About Your Health Have you noticed splinter-like streaks or black lines on your nails? If so, then you may want to see a doctor stat. It turns out that nail health is closely associated with your health. In fact, nail health is often an indicator of nutrient deficiency or more serious conditions. White lines, for instance, can indicate that your body lacks certain nutrients, which we will cover more in the next few minutes. Some signs can even point to severe underlying conditions like melanoma. So if you want to educate yourself, then now is the best time. Stay tuned. Number 1. Vertical ridges can indicate aging. Notice some longitudinal lines with a rough raised texture on your nails that weren't there a few years back? They're probably nothing more than a side effect of aging. Many people notice an increase in these as they age. It's like getting wrinkles in the skin. Vertical ridges are also often accompanied by brittle nails. Again, in most cases, these odd little lines are nothing to be alarmed about. Just be on the lookout if you have a sudden onset of ridges or discoloration that's not due to bruising. Albeit not always the case, some fingernail ridges can be a sign of vitamin deficiencies or chronic diseases such as diabetes. Consult your healthcare provider if you have other symptoms. You can prevent nail ridges by doing the following. Apply moisturizers and oils to your nails frequently with a massaging motion to distribute the oil evenly. Eat a balanced diet. Massage your cuticles to promote blood circulation. Use nail strengthening top coats to get nutrients to your nails. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number 2. Horizontal white lines can indicate a nutrient deficiency. This time, horizontal white streaks that run across your fingernails are another indicator of a health problem. These horizontal lines are also known as Merkis lines. These lines usually affect several nails at a time, but are often not found on the thumbnails. The exact cause of Murex lines is not clearly understood. Having that said, they can also be linked to low levels of protein or zinc. These horizontal lines were interrupted while growing and weren't able to get the necessary nutrients or blood flow. Check with your doctor to ensure you're getting the recommended daily intake of protein and zinc. The RDI for protein depends on your weight and activity level. For zinc, the daily intake should be 8 grams for men and 11 grams for women. It's also important to note that Merix lines could signal liver disease, kidney disease, or severe malnutrition. Number 3. Concave spoon-shaped nails can indicate iron deficiency or anemia. Unlike other nail signs, this one is surely not subtle. Spoon nails, also referred to as coilonochia, are characterized by thin and soft nails that are shaped like little spoons. In this condition, the indention is deep enough to hold a drop of water. Often, concave nails are a sign of iron deficiency or anemia. Talk to your doctor so you can get some lab work done to see if it's anemia. You can ask for iron supplements or try eating more iron-rich foods such as dark green leafy veggies, peas, beans, and red meat. It can also be due to hemochromatosis, a liver condition in which the body absorbs too much iron from the food you eat. Other causes include working with petroleum-based products or trauma. Although very rare, chylonychia can be associated with heart conditions and hypothyroidism. Whatever the cause, it's always best to consult your physician. Number 4. Brittle or dry nails can indicate external factors. Do you have dry, cracked, and brittle nails? These fragile nails won't get your health in too much trouble. In fact, it's quite common and is a major reason why countless people never run out of stock on nail-boosting supplements like biotin. Dry and brittle nails are most commonly caused by repeated washing and drying of nails, causing the nails to have too little moisture. Meanwhile, soft and brittle nails are likely due to too much moisture. Often, they're a result of overexposure to household cleaners, detergents, and nail polish remover. So if you're a regular nail salon customer or you're working with water or cleaning supplies most of the time, then brittle fingernails aren't out of the ordinary. But if brittle nails are happening regularly, then go to your doctor and have your thyroid checked since chronically brittle nails can indicate hypothyroidism. Age and iron deficiency are also common causes of brittle nails. Number 5. Brown to black lines or stripes can indicate melanoma. Checking your skin for moles should be done regularly. But like your skin, your nails can also indicate a health problem. Weird color changes in your nails, like brownish to black streaks, should be a cause for concern. 
Melanoma is a most serious type of skin cancer that can also manifest in your nail beds and go undetected. Melanoma on fingernails, however, is called subungual melanoma. It's often a brown to black discoloration in the cuticle. This discoloration can come in many forms, including a long, thin line or streak, or it can also be irregularly shaped. Although this subungual melanoma is very rare, this type of melanoma can still spread to other parts of the body and lead to death. So, if a brownish or black streak suddenly appears on your nail bed or changes in appearance, see a dermatologist as soon as you can. Before, amputation was the preferred method by doctors. Thankfully, other options are available now such as radiotherapy, immunotherapy, and removal of the abnormal tissue. Number 6. Pitted nails can indicate psoriasis. Nail pitting is when there are little dents and tiny craters in the fingernails or toenails. It's also a symptom of psoriasis, a chronic skin condition that causes scaly, itchy rashes. Psoriasis can happen anywhere on the body, often in several areas at the same time. Another case is when the nails are the only ones affected, hence the pitted nails. If you see your nails changing with psoriasis, there's a higher chance of having arthritis later on. In general, pitting occurs in around 50% of people with psoriasis and 80% of people with psoriatic arthritis. Dented nails can also be a sign of alopecia areata, an autoimmune condition that causes hair loss. Good nail care is the best way to prevent pitted nails. Try the following tips. Keep your nails trim short. Moisturize your nails and cuticles daily. Use comfortable shoes with enough space for your toes. Wear gloves when cleaning and doing other work with your hands. Number 7. Big half moons can indicate renal failure or liver disease. Nearly everyone has little white half moons at the base of the nails. These moons are called lunulae. They may seem insignificant, but their size can also be a clue into some health issues, many of which are serious. For instance, if your lunulae are so big they've taken over half the nail bed, then it can signal renal failure. Renal failure often happens to people who have diabetes or high blood pressure. On the other hand, if the moons have covered two-thirds of the nail bed, then these are what they call Terry's nails. Terry's nails are typically associated with liver failure. As we all know, liver failure is quite severe and the treatment depends on the underlying cause. Certain liver issues can be fixed with lifestyle changes like losing weight or cutting back on alcohol, while others can require medications or surgery. Either way, see your doctor immediately if you see huge lunulae. Number 8. Red streaks can indicate a heart condition. Do you have red streaks on your nails? Unless you just slammed a finger on a door, then these red streaks are something to be alarmed of. Short vertical red to reddish brown lines of blood in the nails are called splinter hemorrhages. They look like a splinter under the fingernail, hence the name. These nail hemorrhages can mean a heart infection affecting the valves or inner lining of the heart. Heart infection is usually due to bacteria. But the risk is higher for those who have congenital heart defects, implanted heart devices, have prior heart attacks, or have a history of drug use. It can also be accompanied by flu-like symptoms such as coughing, weight loss, and more. Bottom line? Consult your doctor as soon as you see little red lines. On a scale of 1 to 10, how shocked are you with any of those warning signs? Do you have any of them? Feel free to share your answers and thoughts below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.